Introduction Piyush has shifted to a new house. He gets up in the morning and joins his parents in the balcony. In the morning calm, he hears a distinct sound. It seems to be coming from the pump house. He asks his father what the noise is. He tells Piyush that the pump house is pumping out water from below the ground so that it can be supplied to all the houses in the locality. Piyush wonders, are there unlimited supplies of water below the ground? In this lesson, we will discuss the importance of water management. Introduction Piyush has shifted to a new house. He gets up in the morning and joins his parents in the balcony. In the morning calm, he hears a distinct sound. It seems to be coming from the pump house. He asks his father what the noise is. He tells Piyush that the pump house is pumping out water from below the ground so that it can be supplied to all the houses in the locality. Piyush wonders, are there unlimited supplies of water below the ground? In this lesson, we will discuss the importance of water management. Objectives at the end of this lesson, you'll be able to understand the factors depleting groundwater, list the ways in which water is wasted, list the ways in which water can be better managed, understand the effects of water scarcity on life forms. World population, as we all know, is increasing fast. People need more space for houses, shops, offices, roads and pavements. Construction of new buildings reduces open areas like parks and playgrounds. Lying of concrete roads prevents seepage of rainwater into the ground. Moreover, a large quantity of water is required for construction work. Groundwater is often used for this purpose. All these factors lead to the depletion of groundwater. Industry forms the backbone of the modern world. It is impossible to imagine life without industries. Almost all the products that we use in our daily lives such as clothes, paper, medicines, cosmetics, etc. are industrial products. Industrialization is an ongoing process that will never come to an end. New industries are being set up every day to meet the growing needs of a rising population. These industries draw tons of groundwater every day for use in production processes, thereby depleting it. You must have read in newspapers and seen on TV the hardship that a failed crop causes to a farmer. In India, even today, a large number of farmers depend on rains to water their fields. Crops fail when rainfall is scanty. Hence, there is a greater emphasis on irrigation. Irrigation systems like drip irrigation, sprinkler irrigation, etc. are promoted to ensure regular water supply to crops, whether there is rain or no rain. Irrigation draws on groundwater, thereby leading to its depletion. You are watching news on TV. Floods are reported in one part of the world. In another part, there is a severe drought. Does it sound strange to you that floods and droughts should occur at the same time? The reason for this strange coexistence is the uneven distribution of water across the countries of the world. Even within a country, water resources are unequally distributed across regions. While there are deserts that receive scanty rainfall, there are humid regions that receive bountiful rainfall. 17% of the total world population is in India. But to support it, India has only 4% of the world's fresh water resources. As a result, India is facing acute water shortage. The situation is likely to worsen with population growing at a fast pace. On your way to school, you notice water overflowing from the overhead tanks in your locality. You see people using running water to wash their cars. 
you notice water leaking from a water tanker. All of us knowingly or unknowingly waste water during brushing, bathing, washing and other activities. We allow rainwater to flow into ditches and get wasted. Does this wastage upset you? It should. Fresh water is, no doubt, renewable, but it is finite and gets depleted by mismanagement and indiscriminate use. If we collect and store all the rainwater that falls on terraces, roads and pavements instead of letting it run into the ditches, we could actually have vast reserves of water. Collecting, storing and conserving rainwater is called rainwater harvesting. Bavri, the traditional way of collecting water, can be revived. Bavris are step wells that store water. The store water can be reached by descending a few steps. Bavris can also be multi-storied. A farmer can use the drip irrigation system to water his fields and conserve water. Drip irrigation is a technique of watering plants by making use of narrow tubings which deliver water directly at the base of the plant. Let us study the effect of water scarcity on plants. You are out on a holiday. When you return home after a week, you see that your plants have wilted. Why? You know the reason very well. They did not get water for a week. Plants need water to get nutrients from the soil to prepare their food. Non-availability of water causes them to wilt and ultimately die. Thus, the scarcity of water will wipe out the green carpet from the earth's surface, resulting in less rainfall and also reduced oxygen supply. Loss of plants and trees also means loss of food. Thus, prolonged scarcity of water will make survival of every life form impossible on earth. It is time to check what you have learned. Drag and drop the correct option into the respective box. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Construction of new buildings and laying of concrete roads prevent seepage of rainwater into the ground. Large-scale use of water by agriculture and industries depletes the groundwater. The distribution of water across the earth is quite uneven. Rainwater harvesting is the method of collecting, storing and conserving rainwater. Bavaries are step wells that store water. Drip irrigation is a technique in which water is delivered directly at the base of the plant. Prolonged scarcity of water will make survival of every life form impossible on earth.